Hello, James here, and today we're going to update the Hyundai Ionic 5 infotainment system, and we are going to be using a 32 gig USB stick, and it has to be a USB A, of course. So we're just going to update it. I'm going to show you guys how to download the PC or Mac app to install. I'll be doing it via PC, of course. We'll go through the steps just in case you need to know about that um, later on in the video. But for now, we're gonna stick this USB stick in and update the car. We need to put this USB stick in and we need to put it in here. What the heck? So that. I kind of like the fact that they've got like a, a black hole in the middle. Are you rubbish? Hmm. Yeah, so next to the center console bin, we've got a USB port. So we stick that in there. So with the last update I did, all I had was quick and general update options. And I did a quick update, it said 30 minutes, I think. And it took basically an hour to do. So we go here, it would say um, 34 minutes. And basically you have to leave the car running and leave it on. So I'll just go later for now. So I'll just, Unplug, re-plug it back in, no media found. So if you do a general update, go OK, start update now, it'll take a while so it doesn't even give you time. All functions will be available, so I'll go no. OK, let's check the third option. Um, I'm going to go schedule this time because we didn't actually have this option the last time I did it. But it looks like we've got a schedule update. So if we go schedule, go OK schedule for zero hours the update will start at the scheduled time of the vehicle ignition is off do you want to schedule update now the update will start immediately after turning off the ignition currently the car is in ready mode so the car's on and i am going to click yes all right now what okay i think that's it so if i turn the car off now Okay, the update will start immediately after turning off the ignition, which I just did. Turning on aircon during the update may quit the update process. Blue Link services may not be available during the update. Screen will turn off in 12 seconds. So does that mean it's starting, right? I'm just gonna leave this now and we'll come back in an hour and see if there's any sort of updates going on in the car. To get the install files into your USB stick, we'll need to download the navigation updater. And to do this, you go to the Hyundai website. And this is update.hyundai.com. I'll put it in the description below as well. So you click the start here and you can download it for either Windows or for the Mac. We're going to go for the Windows update. So after double clicking on the install, for me there's a new version so I'm just going to replace the one that I've got. So just click accept and next and I'm just going to install on top of what I've got already. And the installer has this little arrow getting to its final destination. And once it's installed you get the navigation updater. So select Ionic 5 and basically shows you what you expect to see. So it gives you an idea of you're installing the correct one. But for us, there's only the Ionic 5 option and it'll format it into FAT32. Important notice here, make sure you have the USB stick plugged into your PC or else I want to like here, overwrite my hard drive. And that's the last thing you want to do because it could be quite costly losing your information. And also it's a bit awkward lugging your PC to your car <laughs> to put the update on. The minute you plug in a USB stick, it will come up. So here it is, the X drive. And if we click next, it will tell you it needs to be a 32 gig card and whatever you're gonna have in it is gonna get formatted. If you don't feel comfortable in doing this, just take it to your local dealer and they can do the update for you. So once you've confirmed everything that you want to wipe the drive, it will format it and download the update into your USB stick. So we're going to go look through the key features of the update. And the first thing here is the uh, Tunnel Link FM radio noise automatic control function added. And this basically helps with um, interference or poor FM radio reception. And next we have the navigation map, which is the black theme added. 
and this basically gives you a option of adding a black map for your day and night time option which is a pretty cool little option there we also have sports information provided and this gives you scores real-time information for soccer or football or any sort of sports that you're into now we have a valley mode and you can activate this through blue link now so if you pass your keys to the valley while you're up there <laughs> grabbing your five-star michelin dinner but forgot to switch on you can now do it via the app then next we have the expanded application of a new design theme so looks like they've just basically updated some icons and a few things on different screens and finally it's just showing you the different updates that you can get for different head units I think overall the best thing on this update is the nav map black theme so I think it's about an hour now since I tried the update and it looks pretty similar and it's got this icon here that's rotating round two little arrows going round in a circle and I think it's still updating so I'm just going to turn off the car and leave it to do its thing a bit longer okay so it looks like the car's updated there's no spinning icon anymore and also there was actually a pop-up as well which said that the install has finished so looking at the icons it actually looks similar to before I don't think that's anything's changed on here this okay actually we've got smart recuperation that was new but it's not new this was actually embedded somewhere else in the system so it seems to have it here so you can activate it a bit quicker just going through this little icon there did you see that oh that's pretty cool so this is that was um actually like the corner so it's got a little circle icon and that tells you your sort of like distance how far you can travel from Living Livingston so yeah it looks like we can uh, travel all the way to the Atlantic Ocean and we should be able to make it to Belfast apparently what else is new go to settings and then you go to vehicles see this is new new icons you click on these forward safety Oh uh, yeah, forward safety, forward cross traffic safety, blah blah blah. I think this is all the same as before, but it's just got nice, nice er pictures to show you stuff. Themes, what sort of themes have we got? Yeah, so before, when I first picked up the car, I didn't actually have a schedule time. I've set it between 3 and 8 to go into dark mode, because as you can see, it gets pretty dark here early in Scotland. Now that it's winter, winter's coming. Buttons, actually. Let's see if they've added some extra things or not. Oh, I think they have, actually, because the steering wheel. No, they've not. Mm, actually, they might. Oh, actually, there's more choice now. Didn't used to have this amount of choice. Change hands free device. That's pretty neat. So they've got these extra features now. Well, extra options, should I say, on the custom buttons. And reroute. I mean, I only put on reroute because that was only decent option before. And map return home voice memo. I think I'll change it to change hands-free device. Because of me and Jen's in the car, sometimes it chooses her phone over mine. So I can actually switch between them by pressing the steering wheel button, which is... This star one there, and that is linked to this one. And the mode steering wheel button is this top mode one. And yeah, so that just goes through the different uh, audio options. Okay, actually, take off sound in nature, I never use that anyway. So, what I have noticed after the update is on here it tells you my range in miles but when you come into the driving panel here you'll see it's all in kilometers and i was just driving and i was thinking why am i doing 50 miles an hour and uh, it was actually 50 kilometers an hour so <laughs> so uh, i i'm basically basically have to go and change it. i don't know why it's um not sure why this screen's in kilometers and 
why this screen is in miles. But to change the settings, you just go into your nav mode and you get to this screen and then you go settings and general. And over here, you scroll up, you go to units. And <laughs> units is in miles and degrees centigrade. Uh, oh yeah, so it's saying 11 degrees centigrade, but everything else is in kilometers, even though this is set to miles. So I reckon if I go to kilometers and switch back to miles, yep, it's basically converted this background. So everything's synced up. I'm just going to hit the Fahrenheit as well and change that back to PSI just to make sure everything's back to normal. So that's a interesting feature of updating your Hyundai Ioniq 5 is it messes up with your units of scale. So if you see anything weird like that, that's how you get to it. Just basically through the settings that I just showed you. And that will get you back to your miles and centigrades. Right, I think I'll just conclude this video here. This is how you update your Hyundai Ionic 5 and all the little weird quirks it has. And the best feature so far I found was the scheduling the update. Apart from it messing up with my <laughs> mileage to kilometers, making me think I was going 50 miles an hour on a 30 zone. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe and smack that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.